Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all another future card buddy fight match. Today's matchup, we're going with some of the decks from the Ace series. It is Gargantua Dragon versus Dremetal. My buddy Nick will be playing Dremetal on the right. I'll be playing Gargantua Dragon on the left. We'll go ahead and get started and see how we do. We'll luminize up and then gauge as well. And then we'll see who goes first with the die roll. Six, three, I will go first. And we will open the flag. Raise the flag. Dragon world. Star Dragon world. Gargantua Dragon revival buddy. Yours will come later, I'm guessing. Your we buddy? See. Yeah, okay. I will draw. And then I will charge and draw. Alright, I will. Uh, pay two gauge. Top card of my deck with soul. Buddy call to the left. DD Gargantua Dragon Revival Wood. And then I will use Gar Oracle by paying one gauge. I draw two cards if I have a dragon on my field. Gain two life. Mm -hmm. And then I will call Ilze Gargra. And then I will attack for three with DD Gargantua Revival Buddy. And then I'll be your go. Draw, charge, and draw. Set on the board of thousands and double check tactics. Which do each one of those do? I can just read. Yeah. Can I continue. Double check tactics and on the board of thousands. Okay, cannot be rested. And okay. I will call to the center Archbishop Jellomace. I may. I will return Garga sure. to your hand. Solgar. Gain a gauge, gain one life. I will pay one gauge, put the top card of the deck to soul. To call this one. Lost Knight Narrow Lance. Yep. Effective double check tactics again. Return Garga to your hand. I will cast. I'm paying one life, Battle of Glory. I look at the top five cards of my deck in G-Evo with the drag on my field. Mm -hmm. So check top five. In G-Evo with Gargantua Dragon, Charging Moon. And then the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. And the card gets plus five defense and plus five power. Okay. And then skill of Charging Moon. When it enters the field, I put the top two cards of my deck into my gauge. And if it entered by G-Evo, I put the top card of my deck into my gauge. I gain a life and draw a card. I still gain a gauge, gain a life, I already did that. I will use the effect of on the board of thousands. During my turn, if it wants if a monster with a press is on field, and no monsters in the opponent's center, move a monster on their field from left to right to the center. I will put charging mode to your center. Sure. I will pay a gauge. For Narrow Lance to oppress your left zone. Sure. I will then pay one more gauge for the top card of the deck to go to my soul. Oh, one down. For Lost Knight Narrow Lance once more. Okay. Effect of double, tech, double check tactics once again. 
This time I will choose Ilze Gardra to return it to hand. I will cast Thank you. I will cast What was that? Mistake on my part. Only if I bounce the card to hand. So because that technically stopped yeah. that. I'll cast Gar Highland. Move this to the drop. Top four cards of my jack go into my gauge. Mm -hmm. Pay one gauge to oppress. Yes. And then Archbishop Giallo Mace gives those in my oppressed zones additional 3,000 power, critical, additional additional 3,000 power, defense, plus one critical, and penetrate. Can anything on the field be destroyed by card effects? Um... Yes. Okay. My dramatals, though, although my dramatals just can't be rest or nullified. Okay. Okay. How much power in defense did charging mode obtain? Uh, plus 5,000. Yep, so he's at 12 currently. 12, those are both at 8. I will move to battle phase. Yes. Both of my narrow lances will do a double attack to your center. For a total power of 16,000 and 6 critical with penetrate. Sure. Now we'll take it and then take the 6. You're at 13? Correct. 12. Not 13. 12. So then you'd be at 6, right? I was at 13 life, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Because I used... Um, which one was it? Yeah, yeah I just want to make sure I wasn't messing the life up in my No, you're head. fine, because I used charging mode along with my buddy call. Yep. Um, I will go to end phase. Yep. Both of the narrow lances will deal you two damage each, and then double check tactics... At the end of each player, it deals one damage to my opponent for each of my oppressed zones. So you take another two damage. Okay. Last turn. I will draw. No charge. I will pay one gauge and cast Radiant Combat Deity's Glory. Call to one Dragon Deity Tribe Monster with Gargantuan's name for my drop zone on top of a dragon on my field. And then it gets power plus five and defense plus five. So call mm -hmm. DD Gargantua Dragon Revival Buddy. I will then enter battle. Mm -hmm. I will swing with DD Gargantua Dragon onto your center. I will cast Declaration Check. Sure. I can only cast this while you declare an attack and I have a dramatic card on the field. Nullify the attack. Then if I have an oppressed area, gauge and draw one. Okay. We stand for double attack. I will attack again. This time I will cast Knowledge Wave. I look at the top three. I put one to hand, the rest to gauge, and then if I have a press zone, I gain two life. Okay. Jeva. Mm -hmm. Gargantua Dragon Dual Mode. When it enters the field through Jeva, all DD Dragon Tribe on my field get plus 10,000. Then I destroy up to two cards on your field. So I'll destroy those two. And then I draw two as well. Mm -hmm. I will then attempt to attack at your center. With dual mode is double attack, move, soul guard. penetrate, double attack, soul guard, and counter attack. 20,000 power since it got plus 10 from its own skill. I will cast Queenside Castling. Sure. I know if I, same conditions as Declaration Check, but this time I nullify the attack and then I gain two life for each oppressed area. Okay. So I nullify and I gain four. Okay. Now we, no, I didn't reach spoon with him yet. Double attack. I will take it. You take the three due to penetrate. Mm. 
then I will use Gargantua Dragon for my soul. Call him out by paying his call cost. Pay two, top card of my deck, and it's soul. Mm -hmm. Then I will attack you for three. I will cast Earth Barrier. Sure. No find the attack and gain one life. Where you stand for double attack and attack again. Four, three. Yep. I already used Gievo this turn, so I can't use any of that. Um, I will pass turn to you. Draw. Charge and draw. I will pay a gauge and pay one life for Grandmaster Crown. It's an item, correct? Yes. This card on field can I mean. Yes. yes. Weapon, item, okay. potato, potato. Yep. 2,000 power, one crit. Can't be destroyed by, you, by your card effects. Dramental on my field, get an additional 2,000 power. And then I can rest them. Rest Grandmaster Crown to give two Dramentals up to... I can give two Dramental monsters on field double attack. Okay. Which I will do. Without... Uh, Bishop Jellamace, or Archbishop Jellamace, they lose their 3,000 power plus one crit and penetrate. Sure. They lose that? Yes. Okay. So they're both just down to 5,000 each. Yep. I will go 5,000 to your center. No penetrate, correct? No. I will Gievo. Gargantua Gatling mode. Gatling mode skill, I'll deal you three damage. And some new unit. Mm -hmm. so. And then you're at 7,000. 7, mm. I will simply go to end phase. And I'll be a down damage? Yes, and then Jell and Mace's effects will both activate. I'll cast Dear Friend. I discard a drag on from my hand. For this turn, damage I take is reduced by three. Is it all in? It's the last counter skill. Ah. Uh, pass turn because they're diff because they're two different instances of two yeah. damage. Doesn't equate to four damage. Draw, charge and draw. I will enter battle. Mm -hmm. I will attack for three with Gatling mode. Then I will pay two. Top card deck of soul. Call back out onto the field. Gargantua Dragon Re-V. Then an attack with Re-V. All right, that is it for the game. I hope you all enjoyed. We definitely saw, you know, oppression and also the use of G Evo for both of the games, which is what both decks were meant to do. So we hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.